Okay, so before I get started on this video, I did want to talk about a series I just released really quickly. It's Mastering Figma. Figma is an amazing cross-platform design app. It works in your browser, so you can use it on literally any platform, but uh, it also works on, there's a desktop app for uh, Windows or Mac, and it's basically a replacement for Illustrator, Sketch, or anything like that. It has some amazing Google Doc-like collaboration features. And uh, basically, it allows you to build really, really cool designs collaboratively and use components in a very React-like way. So if you're used to working in React, thinking in components and stuff like that, this is a design tool for you because it allows you to build, extend, and just make components and even like share them across projects with your team in a really, really cool way. So if you're interested in all of that, head to leveluptutorials.com forward slash store. Check out Mastering Figma. This just hit the store yesterday, um, or you can become a pro and stream this, download it, whatever. So if that's something that interests you, buying things from the Level Up store really helps out the production of these free tutorials. And that's the end of this advertisement for my content here. So I hope it wasn't too much of a burden. Okay, so in the last video, or at least the last couple of videos, we talked a little bit about this graphical editor where we were able to give it our, uh, basically our query here, and it was going to tell us what we were going to get exactly out of this. Now we wanna add some features onto this. For instance, I wanna add like a date right? I want to add a date and I want to have the ability to determine whether a post is sort of a draft or not, right? It would be nice to just turn on a flag. That way you could write a post and leave it in your repo and maybe not have it be pushed up onto the actual live site. So let's go over our code really quick here. I'm going to head to VS Code here. If you're wondering about this color theme, this is the new Level Up Tutorials color theme for VS Code. It's under, uh, I did believe just Level Up, maybe Level Up Tutorials. You'll find it. It has my logo on it. Um, but keep in mind, it's in beta. So if you see something totally weird, let me know. Submit a bug report. It's on GitHub. That good stuff too. If you hate it too, let me know as well. I'm down to hear that. Okay, so here we have basically our index page where we created our index. We we got all of our posts. We did so with our page query. We were just essentially fetching all of our posts. Now, after we get this going, we'll actually be able to sort this by our, our, our date, time, and stuff like that in our, in our posts, so that's really nice. And if we head to our actual site, you can see it right here, no problems, okay? So let's actually get started adding some stuff to some of our markdown files. I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna head to my pages and I'm gonna just open up both of my blog posts, our first and our second one. And remember we had our front matter, which was the path and title. And we can add a whole bunch of stuff in here and it's gonna be available to us as the front matter that we can even query off of. Now let's go ahead and add something like, well, in the Gatsby examples, they use something called draft. I'm more familiar with the um, maybe like published, right? If you're used to WordPress or Drupal, you could have uh, published, okay? Although that word is longer. I'm gonna have this say true, as in yes, this is published, okay? Now, let's head to our second blog post. And let's change this, paste this in here. And instead of published equals true, I'm gonna say published equals false, okay? So that way we have a little bit to work with here. Now, the main point in which this is going to concern us is within our index. So if we remember in our index here, we just had a couple of links. And sure enough, I'm going to wrap those in an unordered list because if you remember, they're just like being output straight up right now. So putting these in a list. So putting these in a list is going to be doing us good things for readability right now. Or at least so we can determine if there is one or two or whatever, okay? So I added those in a list item. Here we are, a little bit more readable. So after we implement this, you should see that our second blog post is not going to be showing up, okay? So let's go ahead and head back to our query. And you'll remember we told it to give us the title and path, but let's tell it to give us published. Published, okay, just like that. Now let's run our query. And you'll see cannot find field published on type front matter, okay? So if you're used to this sort of stuff, you might be knowing exactly what's going on here. If you're not, maybe major confusion, why the heck didn't this work? We're querying our front matter, it should be here, right? So you might be coming to your query here and just saying, uh, you know, what? what's wrong with, what's wrong with what we were doing in our query, right? Why would this work and then have it not work with publish? Well, to be honest, all we have to do is stop our server 
restart our server. And this is going to take an account of the new stuff and the new changes within our markdown files. And what that's really gonna do is basically take care of any modifications to the stuff that we'd be querying on. You'll notice that we typically don't have to do that. If we were to change this second blog post title to like blog PST, and then I ran the query, You'll see it's getting that update. It's not necessarily because we made a change to the markdown file, but because we changed a uh, something about this schema itself, right? It, Gatsby needed to become aware of that new schema. So let me undo that and let's head back. So check it out. What we want to do here is add our filter and we do that up top where we have our limit. Now you'll notice that limit is just inside of here. Now what we want to do is put limit onto its own line. Notice how unlike a JavaScript object, despite I mean, besides not being wrapped in curly brackets here, there's no commas here. So even down here, there's no commas. Um, so what we want to do here, instead of having just a limit is we're going to want to have a filter as well. So we can say filter, you'll notice we get a nice little helping there. And then we're going to have curly brackets. Now, over the course of this, there's going to be three sets of opening and closing curly brackets. So count them when you're writing them, just so you don't miss any of them. If you're writing it inside of this graphical, editor, it should help you out quite a bit here. So inside of our filter, we're going to tell it to filter on the, the front matter. Again, nice little auto completing. And then we get another set of curly brackets and a colon after that for front matter, by the way. And then we're going to tell it which field of the front matter we would like to filter on. And we're going to say published. Okay. Again, nice little auto completing and one more set of colon and curly brackets. This is the last one, promise. And inside of here, we're going to be using the EQ to say this is equals. So EQ, notice how we also have NE, if you could guess that stands for not equals. Okay, so we're going to say this is equal to true. As in, if front matter is equal to true, then we're going to want to show our blog posts. So now when I run my query, you can see that we're given just our first blog post because that's what is set to true. So let's go ahead and copy this line and let's do this all again and add it into our actual query itself. Now let's go ahead and actually transform our index query here by bop, 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 putting this limit on its own line and then putting our filter. Again, filter, front matter, published, true, wrap it all off with three curly brackets here. So if you don't have three opens, three closes, uh, then you messed up somewhere. Okay. So you can save this and head back to our page and let's actually go to our starter page here. Let's go. And as you can see here, our index is now filtering correctly based on what's published and what's not published. Cool. So it appeared that our filter is working correctly. Check it out. And now we can go ahead and publish our previous post. Let's go to our second post and let's turn this to true, publish it, head back. And you can see just like that, everything is up and running. So really super nice here. Okay. So we now built in some filtering. Super cool. Uh, what's another thing we can do here? Well, we can also add in things like post dates, right? Maybe we want to sort the reverse order because if you think about this, we have our first blog post and our second blog post, but typically when you have an index, the most recent blog post is at the top. Now there's certain ways we could determine what the most recent blog post is, but why do that when you could use a date and a date would be important to have in a blog post anyways. So let's go back to our code. Let's head back to our front matter here and below published, we can have another one, which is simply just going to be date. Now in the date is simply just going to be a string of our date. So for instance, this is the 2017 year and it is I believe October. Let's see what date it is. It's October 4th. Okay. So We've got to do O4. Okay. So we want it just like this. And you know what, for our first blog post, let's go ahead and have this be a different date. Let's have this be something like September 4th instead. Just so we get some variety in the dates. And this time before we restart our server, like we had to do last time, let's take a look at our Gatsby node. So down here is in our Gatsby node files where we registered all of our pages and we told GraphQL sort of what information to put into that page. And we had path and we had title. Now, and again, let's go ahead and just add date here because we want to have access to the date inside of those pages. Okay. So here we do, we have access to these pages. So here we go, we have access to these pages. Now, 
Let's go ahead and see if we can get this date outputting in our graphical editor here simply just by saying front matter, let's go date. Okay, and publish. As you can see, it's not finding it. So it's not finding it, we wanna restart our server. Let's do that. Restart our server, and once this is back up and running, we're gonna run this query once more, and it's going to work. Okay, let's go ahead, run this query. You can now see we're getting both of our posts as well as the date strings that we have right here. And now you'll notice these are sorted in the correct way that we would want them to sort, right? Like the second blog post is first, but we wanna have control over this, right? We wanna be able to say this is in fact the way that you're going to be sorting. So let's work on this query here. Uh, I'm gonna do this above filter just because why not? And we can say sort. And then inside of our sort, we're going to have an object in which we're going to be looking for uh, basically fields, okay, colon. And then we're going to pass in uh, what we have our flat brackets here. And we're going to say front matter. And you can see we get our options, right? This is this graphical editor is just so nice because the transformer is giving us these options here to choose from. Unfortunately, none of these are the options that we're looking for. We want front matter underscore 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 date. Sorry, we can start with one of these and just change the word to date, okay? And then we're going to have a comma in which we can give it our actual order. Let's give ourselves some room here and we can say order, not, and we can say order and then in all caps, desk, D-E-S-C, okay? Run this query and you'll notice we don't have any errors. If we change this, if we change this D-E-S-C, no, I don't want you to come open, I just want to change this, uh, then to A-S-C, and then run this query again, you'll see we have our posts are now in the opposite order. So let's go ahead and drop this in to our app, this line here, and you'll be able to see right now we have second blog post first, first blog post down here at the bottom, head into our code here, and let's scroll and let's head to our page where we had our properties here and we can throw in this sort right in our query here. So sort, we're gonna be sorting by the fields. We're gonna be looking at front matter, underscore, 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 date, instead of uh, flat brackets here, comma, order, and then ascending. Save this and it's going to recompile and our first blog post is first. Now, if we want it in the order that we made sense before, we can change this to D E S C. Okay. Saying change that head back. We now have all of our blog posts with the oldest one second and the newest one first. Cool. So we've added a bunch of functionality here. We've added the ability to publish and unpublish a file. We've added the ability to get into sorting, right? I mean, we've gone over this syntax a little bit here. And if you were to change this front matter underscore 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 date to title and change the order, it's gonna be doing it alphabetically, right? So that is certainly nice. So these are ways that we can further enhance our queries by using sorting and filtering and adding some things to our front matter to turn this into a little bit more of a legit system here. Now, granted, this isn't rivaling WordPress and it's not meant to be rivaling WordPress, but if you're a tech person and you want to dive into some of these cool technologies and have a, a, a fun generated blog and stuff like that, I mean, I built my site in Gatsby personally, and if I were to want to add a blog, it would be really super easy using these page queries and features that we built out in these following videos. So in the next few videos, we'll go over stuff like WordPress or Contentful, uh, other ways of getting data into Gatsby. And then if you have any suggestions about what you want to see, let me know. Hit me up in the comments or Twitter or whatever, and I will do my best to accommodate. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Once more, I'm gonna plug my Mastering Figma course. It is really, really super cool application. I'm also gonna be publishing some free videos for Figma, so uh, if you're curious about it, you can hang out until Friday where I release those videos, and if you're excited, head over to the store. Otherwise, you can just become a Level Up Pro. I'm gonna be doing a new premium series every month, no joke, nonstop every single month, as well as new features for uh, pros, constantly, constantly, constantly updating and evolving. So as always, this is Scott. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.